guys hello my friends my little friends guess what I caved and I bought the Stanley cup not too long ago I told you guys that I bought a knockoff Stanley because I was like this is so expensive not worth my money Guess what? My knockoff Stanley broke. I dropped it on the floor, it fully broke in half, the handle broke. And maybe that's why the Stanley is just better and doesn't break when you drop it in an instant. But anyways, I bought this on Amazon. I don't know why I just gave you like a full water bottle introduction in the first like 30 seconds of the video, but welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I haven't done a glow up video on my channel in a while. As you can tell, this video was originally supposed to be a glow up video, but it's actually gonna be a glow up and pack and prepare with me for my trip. So you will be seeing everything I'm bringing with me on vacation to Costa Rica. We're gonna get our eyebrows laminated, we're gonna get them tinted, we're gonna get my lashes lifted and tinted, which is what we're gonna do right now, so I gotta wash this face and makeup off. We are getting a massage, the nails are done, but we're getting the toes done. We literally just have so much to do, and again, regardless of the fact that I am going on vacation, it is the beginning of summer, so what better timing than right now to do a little summer glow up, so I'm so excited for today's video. <laughs> finally here that took way too long but I'm gonna go in I'm gonna show you guys the before it's not bad or anything thank god they kind of grew back because in December they actually like fully fell off because I had eczema on them but anyways I look so tanned right now I've been tanning a lot these past few days I look crazy guys my hair is up right now don't mind it but oh my god look at my eyelashes and my eyebrows it's the next day I'm kind of see what my lashes and my brows look obviously they're still a little bit sparse because they have no product in them but look at my lashes these are my natural lashes which is insane I'm not supposed to get any of them wet for 24 hours then after those 24 hours I can apply makeup on mascara is gonna look so good I don't have to wear waterproof mascara I don't have to curl my eyelashes or anything I can just put it on and apparently it lasts for six to eight weeks and the eyebrows as well when I fill them in or when I brush them up they're gonna be already like in the right shape which I think is great and yeah at first honestly yesterday I was a little bit scared because it looked kind of I was just not used to it and they were so stuck up straight why do I look so weird? Why does it look like I got a facelift? Why do my eyes look extra blue? I think more- I'm scared! Who is that? Why do I not recognize myself right now? Which made me look like I had a facelift and like I had Botox. But anyways, today I'm here with Jacob. I'm back, Mr. Consistent Now. All day summer vlog day. Guess why? I am taking Jacob to get a pedicure. Oh. It's actually because I really need one. My toe is like literally broken off. Like actually it is on the verge of fully falling off and I need to get it fixed before something bad happens. But I told Jacob, why don't you come with me? You might as well get your own pedicures. Technically did it once, maybe like five years ago, but you know, I, I was young, I don't remember. So this is, my, this is my first actual time. Yeah, so he's gonna go with me. We might get a little coffee or something just to like be girls. <laughs> That's too much. I'm gonna get a drink. I think there's a really good coffee shop beside called There There, which I'm really excited to go to. They usually have mochi donuts, which are fire. Maybe we'll have some of those, but we're definitely gonna get our toes done today. Did you get and the then painted? I'm gonna get my painted. I think I'm gonna get, I don't know if I should get French tip or all white. After that, tonight, we're probably gonna do some more self care stuff. We still have got to whiten our teeth. Sparkling. 
I'm wearing one of the shirts that I bought yesterday. Today we have some more prep to do because it is the day before we leave. And for one, I booked myself a lymphatic drainage massage because I thought, why not go to my trip extra relaxed even though I have so many things to do on my to-do list and I'm actually definitely not relaxed. And in fact, I don't know if this was a good decision because I have so many things to do. But I did book myself for an hour massage. It's also lymphatic drainage. So maybe I'll be extra snatched by the end of it. I'm gonna start driving over there right now because it's a little bit far and I don't wanna book an Uber. So let's go. I might add a little bit of life into my face so they don't think I'm dying, but... Don't know why she got me feeling this way. She's got a way about her. She's got a way. Just made myself a little coffee. Does it look like coffee or does it look like creamer? I honestly can't tell. Earlier, I also went to tan for a little bit. I went to the beach, I biked myself over, and I brought myself a little journal. And I was just journaling about, you know, my feelings and stuff. And honestly, it was just so fun, so rewarding, and just felt really good to just like lay down, listen to music, and just write whatever I wanted to write and just kind of brain dump. Getting my thoughts out on paper is just something that is so beneficial to me and something that I want to continue doing and really just be in my healing girl summer and just set myself up for success even going into this trip I just want to feel really good before I leave when I leave and when I come home and speaking of mental health I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video which is BetterHelp thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video if you didn't already know BetterHelp is the world's largest online therapy service and it is 100% online with BetterHelp you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists that can help you with whatever you're going through or if you need to get your mind off some things or if you just need to vent to someone having someone especially online where you can talk to them from the comfort of your own home is the ideal situation. These therapists can help with a wide range of issues and just whatever you're going through. I'm gonna have the links to everything down below so you can check it out for yourself. But to get started, all you need to do is answer a few questions based on your needs and your preferences in terms of therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the perfect therapist from their network just for you. After you've done all that and you have your therapist, you can talk to them in whatever way that you want, whether that be via text, chat, phone, or video call. You're also able to message your therapist at any time which I think is super helpful and also you can schedule live sessions whenever it's convenient to you And if after all this happens you feel like your therapist just doesn't match your needs perfectly Which is fine. You know, it can be like dating Not everyone's gonna fit for you You can switch to a new therapist at any time and it is free of charge with better help You can expect to have the same professionalism and quality as you can expect from an in-office therapy session So it provides more flexibility and a affordable price point you guys can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Fernanda. And I've also listed them below in the description. And also just to clarify, it is BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P. And that is basically it. I hope that this is helpful for you guys. And I highly, highly, highly recommend seeking out help or just guidance if you feel like you need someone to talk to, especially going into the summer season. You know, we're out of school. Maybe you're working more. Whatever the case may be, if you need a year or you need someone to talk to, BetterHelp is definitely the place for you. And it's definitely worth a try. I feel like therapy can be intimidating and scary sometimes but doing it from the comfort of your own home is a completely different game and it can be really beneficial to you so thank you better help for sponsoring this video and let's get back to our regular scheduled content I'm just gonna keep working for today I'm gonna go to a yoga tonight which will definitely help with my mental health I feel like whenever I'm on my game and doing yoga consistently I feel just so much better and I just want to make sure that my mental health is the best that it can be before I go on a trip as well as get my body in shape before I leave so that's what I'm gonna go do I'm gonna go to oxygen yoga and I think it's a freedom flow class. I literally need to leave right now It starts in like 15 minutes. So let's head on over there
Okay, my loves, it's official. We are T minus two hours till we leave, and guess what? Miss Girl hasn't packed. Miss Girl hasn't freaking packed. Do you want to see the state of my apartment right now? <laughs> you don't. That was a trick question. You don't want to see it. Am I embarrassed? Yes. Am I ashamed? Yes. Am I so excited? Yes. But literally, what is life right now? Will I be able to pack this up two hours while not having a mental breakdown and doing it successfully? If I forget something, I will literally, I don't even know what I'll do. But anyways, let's pack together. I'm going to show you everything I'm bringing with me. Everything I'm bringing with me. Also, look at all my gold jewelry. We're slaying right now, but I'm gonna show you everything that I'm bringing with me and we're gonna try to pack together while also trying to film TikTok because this is the life of a content creator. I'm trying to multitask my content creation and film on TikTok, film on Instagram, film on... I am stressed. Okay, let's get into it. Again, don't judge what's behind me. This is strictly because I'm packing and I'm trying to get my life together. But let's get into it. First up, we have two little tank tops like this. These are from Urban Outfitters, and I'm excited to wear these just on the daily, like casual, say we're going to the market or something. We're good. Next up, I'm going to bring this shirt. It is from Fenity Fashion, and it's a little corset with like paisley kind of material on it. Love it. The next one is this black ruffly one. This is from, I actually don't know what the brand is, but I thrifted this, and I feel like this looks just super flowy, and I really like the material. It's very thin. Thin. The next one I actually thrifted and I think it's so gorgeous. It's a little bit different more mature But I really like the way it looks I feel like it's very beautiful and something I've never seen before Okay, the next top I literally just got in the mail today But it's from princess Polly and it's super light and lacy and I think it's just super feminine and cute So I'm excited to wear this it is a tad small for me, but we're gonna make it work and then I have this tube top which I just purchased this was from Club Monaco and it's such a nice material I'm absolutely obsessed with it but I'm gonna wear this with a couple outfits so I'm gonna bring this I also have this top right here which is very cute this is from Sunday Best from Aritzia I just bought this and I have a skirt that's gonna match so well with this so that is why I purchased it and then I'm just gonna bring a white t-shirt and a white long sleeve just because Loki I think it's gonna be raining a lot of the days that we're there cross our fingers things change but I've got this long sleeve from Brandy and then I've got a t-shirt from Brandy so I think those are all my tops if I choose to bring more I'll let you guys know but those are the tops that I have for now okay we're moving on to skirts this first one is a long long skirt from Princess Polly I low-key don't know if I should bring two three because I have three of them but this one is like super I don't even know how to describe it it's just way different than the next one that I'm gonna show you so keep that in mind I might wear that one with like a bikini or something and then this one is a little bit more dressed up it's got as you can see like a little bit of pattern this one is also way more expensive I didn't purchase this but this is from House of Harlow which is a revolve store um, but the other one's Princess Polly so if you're looking for a long skirt I highly recommend Princess Polly for more inexpensive ones and also for a little change in scenery a short one I got this one from Urban Outfitters I'm gonna bring this as well and then I've got two other long skirts the first one is this orange one so Costa Rica it's actually reversible so it's a little two-in-one we got this pink side as well again this was thrifted we love to see it and the last skirt that I'm bringing is this satin pink one from Wilfred Aritzia actually I lied I have one more skirt that I'm bringing I just purchased this one but it's from Princess Polly and it's got pockets on it so I kind of love that it looks like a little bit of a cargo vibe but yeah she's cute I actually don't know 100% if I'm gonna bring this but I'm just gonna fold it with all my clothes and then if there's extra room I might bring this oh and I forgot to show you one more top I'm sorry I'm so overwhelmed right now I just purchased this okay it looks eeny meeny miny mo but we're gonna try to work with it it's a size small from Bamba swim and I definitely should have gotten like a freaking large at the state of this but whatever it's super cute and I have a matching bikini to this so I'm really excited to wear this let's move on to dresses if you guys watched one of my recent videos it was my summer diaries I told you that I thrifted this crazy insane dress it's so fancy for no reason and I low-key don't know anywhere where I'm gonna be able to wear this and my friends might be like Fernanda what why why did you bring that but Anyways, it looks like this. It literally looks like a red salsa dance emoji, but I just feel like in Costa Rica, it's gonna look so bomb with a red flower in my ear. I just think it's gonna be the moment. I don't know, I don't know. The next one is another one that I thrifted. She is orange, she is the moment. She looks like this. I low-key don't know if I'm gonna even be able to wear all the out outfits that I'm bringing, but I just have so much tropical clothes because I haven't been on a tropical vacation in like three years so I've just been stashing all of my perfect summer pieces so that is why I have so many but this I thrifted and I'm obsessed here's another dress that I'm gonna bring with me 
Again, she was thrifted. Loki, I may be bringing way too much. I may be doing the most. But this goes like this. I showed this in a recent haul. I got it from ThreadUp, which is an online thrift store. And it's just this like satin blue material. Also, I feel like it's so easy to overpack when you're going on a tropical vacation because everything is so small, so you fit way more things. Therefore, you just want to bring everything you own. Okay, I'm going to bring this black dress. I love that the bottom is super flowy. I thrifted this as well, and I think it's going to look so freaking cute. Moving on. Another dress I thrifted. This may or may not be the best dress I think I've ever thrifted in my entire life. Like, literally in my life. But... It is from La Vie en Rose and it looks like this and you tie it around your neck and it's like, oh my gosh, it's like beautiful. It's stunning. It's exactly like what's trending right now and the fact that I thrifted this for probably like $12 is a miracle and astonishing. I bought this dress literally two years ago and I haven't been on a vacation so I can finally wear it. It's from Princess Polly and it is the ultimate aquamarine dress. So I'm so excited to wear this. Next, say I want to go to the club, okay? Say I'm trying to go out. Cutie little red dress. Let's talk bikinis. I'm an addict. I know, I don't even, I feel honestly a little bit embarrassed, but whatever. The first one I'm bringing is a blue triangle one. It is super, super dainty, itty bitty witty, but I do love it. I do love it. This is from Bamba Swim. Next up, I have a one piece set. Adorable, adorable, it's super scandalous, but this is from Turks Swim. Next up, I have another one from Turk Swim that I'm gonna bring. It's this one piece set, it's gorgeous. This is the bikini that I told you I have that matching tank top to. It is from Bamba Swim and I absolutely love the print. It is just this yellow material with little blue Hawaiian flowers. The next one I'm bringing is another little triangle one but it is in brown. This is from Bamba Swim as well. And then I'm gonna bring this swimsuit that I've never worn before. This is from Black Boat. It's just got cute little flowers on it and it's red. They sent this to me so I'm very excited to rock this. This I'm so excited for. You can see it's got little rhinestones and like a flower shape, but this is from Black Bow and it's like a little tank top vibe, like tube top. And it comes with a matching little skirt, which you can cinch to like make shorter or longer. I do wish that there was actual bikini bottoms to match with this, but there isn't, but that's okay. I do really like it. I'm gonna wear this one. This one is white and it's from Heart of Sun. And the bottoms look like this, very cute. I'm also gonna bring this bikini. This is from Black Bow as well. I love these underwired cuts and I love that this one has a little bow in the middle and it's got little lemons and flowers on it. And then the bottoms look like this and I'm obsessed with the little frills on the side. I just think it's so freaking cute. So I'm so excited to wear this. I have this one which is super colorful and I feel like it's gonna look very nice with the jungle vibe. This one from Bamba Swim, it's so small, but it does look really cute and it's perfect for tanning. And then, again, I have some more, but I'm not 100% sure I'm going to bring them. Let's move on to shorts. So I just ordered these from Princess Polly. They're a dark wash material, so I love these. I think this could look really cute with this tank top. Oh, I'm obsessed. I have some light blue shorts. And then I have these ones that I absolutely love. They are like a cargo material and they're from Urban Outfitters. So I've got these ones. And then I've also got them in this other color. So we love. And again, I have some white shorts, but I just don't know if I should bring them. So while I was thrifting, I went crazy in the scarf section and I got so many of these sarongs. So I'm gonna be bringing this one. It's this with the blue bathing suit is gonna look amazing. I also have this sarong, which is like pink and gold. And then I have this one, which is all different sorts of pinks and gold. And then I have this cover up, which I'm obsessed with. This is from Lucan. Oh, I think I'm gonna bring this. It's just a little romper that's strapless from Charcoal Clothing. I don't really know for what, but I'm just gonna bring it anyways, because it's small. And then let's move on to bags and accessories. Okay, I thrifted this beaded bag, and I think it's absolutely stunning. I feel like this on a night out is just gonna, it'll do it for me, you know? It's gonna look so gorgeous. So we've got this. I got this from Zara, and it is like, it's got gold. It's got this little like bamboo material. It looks very tropical so we love to see her and then I thrifted this for $7.99 I think it's so freaking cute and different and with some of the more fancy dresses that I have I feel like it'll be so fun to carry this around just kind of hold it like this or something I don't know and then I also thrifted this bag which I think is super unique and different and cool I've never seen anything like it and I don't have anything like it so I love this it's just got this like shell material and wooden handle don't really know what I can fit in here but we'll work with what we have here is the white purse from Brandy and then here is the black purse from Brandy I also may bring this gold one from coach that I also got on thread up and then for tote bags 
I just received both of these in the mail. This one is from Bamba Swim. You can see it says Bamba Swim on this one as well. And then I might bring this little yarn looking one. This is from Ole Hendrickson. I actually got this in a gift bag, but I think it's super cute. And then I'm gonna bring a fanny pack because we're gonna be doing like hikes and stuff. So I think this will be super helpful. This is from Lululemon. Okay, for a few more accessories, I'm gonna bring this black belt with gold. This is from Oakenfort. And then I'm also going to bring this gold belt with brown. This is from Princess Polly. I just got this as well and I think this is gonna look super cute on top of the skirts that I bought and I've been seeing this trend go around with like skirts and like beaded belts and I just got the sickest beaded belt so let me show you so I have this belt which I think will look super cute I'm obsessed with her this is from Princess Polly and this belt I actually thrifted and I think it's super unique and cool and it's gonna just really encapsulate the vibe I'm going for another accessory is this cutie little hat this is thrifted and it doesn't really say where it's from but I really like it I think it's so unique and fun moving on for active wear I'm gonna bring this one piece when we do a little hike or yoga and then I'm also going to bring this set from 437 the top just looks like this it's like white and then it comes with this little skirt which is super fun I guess if we do a hike or something I can wear this and then if we do yoga I have this green set which I think will look very nice in a tropical place as well as the bottoms which these are from set active so I'm excited to wear these there I've worn them many times before but they're so comfortable. I do want to say I did order these packing cubes from Amazon, so I'm definitely going to use these. I've honestly never used packing cubes before, but I know that they're helpful to so many people, so maybe I should get on it, is what I'm trying to say. I also low-key think it's going to be raining so much, and I don't even think I have a rain jacket, so that might be really awkward. Okay, my packing cubes are looking pretty good. Moving on, we're gonna talk about accessories. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. They're little hair clips and they're little flowers. I've seen these go for like $50 each and on Amazon I found like eight for like 20 bucks. So I'm bringing all of these with me, every single freaking color. All of them may be doing a little bit too much, but whatever, I want my friends to wear them too. Then for other staple accessories, I have this hair tie, which I love, that's from Zara. And then I have this little puka shell necklace. For my accessories, I'm gonna pack everything in this little purple bag from Florence by Millie. I'm gonna put all my flowers in there, that flower accessories, that necklace. I'm also going to bring four pairs of sunglasses. I have these black and brown frame ones, Vela, I think it's how you say it. And then I have these ones with gold and black from the key, I think. And then these ones are just black, they're from Oakenfort. And then I just have a pair of blue light glasses. For belly jewelry, I have this beaded one. It is so stunning. And I also have this one that I've never worn before. I honestly don't know if I love it but she's okay. I feel like it looks pretty Costa Rica-y, like the colors. less than 30 minutes so now is when the stress is starting to hit but let me show you the shoes that I'm bringing starting off with a regular pair of white flip-flops from Old Navy a pair of black flip-flops from Steve Madden this gorgeous pair of heels from Revolve but the brand is Ray I think these cutie little heels from Shoots these little slides from Steve Madden a pair of New Balances and then a pair of sneakers which these are gonna get so wrecked which is so depressing but I guess it's the best we can do I'm gonna start loading the little cubes into my luggage 